All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rachaha, Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. This is the brother Yashamai coming back at you with another video linking global current events to biblical prophecy to show you that every that all the biblical prophecies that are written in the Holy Scriptures are indeed faithful and true. Okay, bird, you see it, terror, raw milk targeted. As we watch the narrative surrounding the bird FL double O and its alleged jump into beef supply develop. The stage is increasingly set for crackdown on raw dairy uh, uh, suppliers. Okay, so now they're going after raw milk, which um, in any case, if you are calling yourself a Hebrew Israelite, you really don't have any business um, targeting. I mean, you really don't have any business drinking milk. I don't care if they say it's vitamin D milk. Oh, look, it's 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 skim milk. It's two 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 percent skim milk. You know, it's vitamin C milk. No milk is good for you. Period. Okay. I don't care what nobody say. You shouldn't be drinking no no milk. Okay, because milk is basically one of the biggest P O I S O N. S on this planet you know a lot of people end up bloated a lot of people end up with cancer a lot of people end up with osteoporosis because of the M-I-L-K that they're drinking now almond milk might be okay for you almond milk coconut milk okay but even you would have to check the status on that because at the end of the day, you really don't know. So you never know. Okay. The, um, cause you know, there's, you know, in other words, our food is tainted. And to show you that, you know, even raw milk has been tainted. If we come over here, let's go to Pro let's go to not Proverbs, but Ezekiel, which there are some good precepts and Proverbs as well that I could bring out. But in Ezekiel, the Lord makes it clear as to, you know, what the condition of our food is going to be. Okay, Ezekiel 4 and 13, and the Lord said, even thus shall the children of eat Israel eat their eat their <coughs> defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. Now, what I would like to do is come over here and I want I would like to go to the blue letter Bible app. Okay, I have it saved right here. And let's go to Ezekiel 4 and 13 and look up the word defiled in the blue letter Bible to further get an understanding of what the Lord meant by we will eat our food defiled among the Gentiles. See, um, how am I going to do this? 
Let's go to tools and let's see. Let's look up this word. So it's Tama'a. Tama'a. At least that's that's what I'm getting. Tama'a. The file, right? Uh, let's look this up. I believe I, if I click on H29. Okay, so it's the Hebrew word there is Tama'a. A show outline of biblical usage. And what do we see for the word Tama'a, which is the Hebrew word for defile? We see unclean. We see impure. Now, something that is impure means that it's not in its original strength. It means it's been tampered with. Because... Pure milk is not supposed to give you osteoporosis, which is osteoporosis is a disease that deteriorates away at your bones. OK, drinking milk is not supposed to give you cancer. It's not supposed to make you bloated. You know, I mean, how is it that when you drink milk, you know, you 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 got the farts, you know, you're just you no know, every, every 10 minutes, you know, it's. Like, what the fuck? The, damn, did, did I eat something wrong? Uh, was... You know, the next five minutes. <clears throat> oh, shit, my bad, bro. You can't put it on. You can't blame it on Taco Bell because you you didn't have Taco Bell today. OK. You know. You run in, you know, here it is, you know, after after, you know, drinking that that vitamin that gallon of vitamin d milk and shit you, you know you you got the shits but but while you're running to the bathroom you over here just just letting loose oh shit you know and it's like you're just praying that no 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 poo come out or anything so it's like the, the, the our food is impure you know, they're putting, they're mixing pork with beef, steak, lamb. You don't know what's in it. You know, they, they, there's a reason why they call it mystery meat. You don't know what you're eating nowadays. You know, they put in uh, rat feces and chocolate. They're putting cow snot in milk. Your milk is filled with pus. But you want to know how they filter out the pus that they put it through a strainer. Because they've been milking the cows so much that the cows have been bleeding from their udders. And the scriptures speak about how you're not supposed to consume blood for the blood is the life of the animal. But no, you know, they're, they're over here, you know, they're, 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 there's blood in your cow milk. But you wouldn't know it because they're putting white dye in the milk to make it look like there's no blood in it. And then to deal with the pus, you know, they they, they filter the milk through a, a, a strainer and whatever comes out through the strainer, that's what goes into your container. So the milk is impure, the water is impure because it's not in its, it's not in its 100% strength or force. The meat is not in its 100% strength or force. You know, the word impure can also means uh, um, it can mean non-tainted. You know, if your milk got blood in it, it's tainted. You can't drink that. OK, so it says. Unclean, impure. Ethically and religiously, ritually, or it says of places. Okay, so now uh, for further edification, uh, let's look up the definition for defile. Let's type in defile on Google and see what we get here. Okay, defile definition 
And what do we see here? We see solely mar, which the word mar is another word for cut. So, so you're basically cutting away from the full force or strength of the food. That's why when you eat food, you feel all tired. You feel lethargic. Right after you don't eat some steak, potatoes, and mac and cheese, your ass want to lay down and go to sleep. Why? <laughs> because the strength and and and, and the, uh, the the force, the purity of the food has been cut from it. That's why they call it GMO food. The food has been modified to not give you nutrients or very little to no nutrients. Okay, just, all you gotta do is look on the back of your look look on the back of the food you're you're eating. Zero percent iron. Okay, the blood needs iron. <laughs> no, you, the food got zero percent iron, no calcium. Sometimes it's hard to believe when they say, "Oh well, I mean, you know, these, these oranges got you know one hundred percent vitamin C." Is that really the case? Is there really vitamin C in there? Because if there's vitamin C in it, you should have a strong, healthy immune system. You know, how the fuck are you eating oranges down there every day and you still getting sick? You're supposed to have a strong, healthy immune system off of vitamin C. So, again, the oranges have even been cut. E even the strength and the forces. And when I say the strength or the forces, I'm talking about the benefits of what the food is supposed to give you after you eat it. You're supposed to feel energized after eating lamb or steak or chicken. When you when you drink milk, your bones are supposed are supposed to feel unbreakable. Same thing with cheese. Cheese fall under the dairy, the dairy family. When you eat cheese, you know, you're supposed to feel like you have protein in you. Cheese is supposed to strengthen your bones because there's milk in cheese. But again, if the milk is being targeted, you don't think the cheese is going to be targeted? You don't think the butter is going to be targeted? Oh, and definitely stay away from ice cream, man. Okay. But I'm going I'm to I'm read. I'm going to read this in the NLT. What the? I'm going to read this in the NLT and then... um. See, uh, how do I close this? Okay. Ezekiel 4 verse 13 in the NLT. Okay. Then Yahweh said, this is how Israel would eat defiled bread in the Gentile lands to which I will banish them. America, which is no longer ruled by the tribe of Gad and Reuben or Ishakar, is now, this land is now being ruled by predominantly Edomites who would be the natural Gentiles. Okay. Okay. So we're in a heathenistic country eating what? impure food food that has been cut from its pure strength which is supposed to give you benefits 144 the water yahweh the water yahweh shy let's read this in the niv ezekiel 4 verse 13 in the niv okay it says yahweh said in this way, the people of Israel will eat defiled food among the nations where I will drive them. So there you go. Okay. Defiled. Okay. You see solely mar or spoil. So it's, it's the, the food is no good. And well, you know what happens when you eat spoiled food? You get sick, right? How's it that people who are eating healthy are still being diagnosed with cancer? Because the food is spoiled, man. It, it, it's been cut from, from, from its pure state. And what are we left with? GMO food. 
Okay, there's foods with with a uh, bioengineered food ingredients in it. You know, literally at 7-Eleven, I bought a bag of chips and they literally told me that that eating these chips and all you got to do is look on the back of the ingredients and they'll tell you. Now, I bought these chips. For, now, I bought. I, I, no, I, no, I, I didn't buy them. You know, I looked on the back of the ingredients first before I bought them. But on the back of the ingredients, it literally said consuming this product could cause cancer. So we're not even eating real potato chips, man. There's there's no such thing as real food anymore. It's the year 2024. OK, they've been creating GMO foods since the early 1900s. Monsanto's been around. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.